Gents, I just want to pause the episode for a moment to let you know about the Strong Men of Value Academy. You will have heard me refer to it a number of times and I want to bring more attention to it. So this isn't just a program. It's a life-changing environment and community of men who are focused on personal and professional growth. We're looking at areas of relationships, wealth and health, things to help you thrive and maximize your life. Imagine having bi-monthly one-on-one coaching sessions with myself, weekly group coaching calls, and an incredible brotherhood of high achievers by your side. Now we're diving into resilience, leadership, and holistic growth to not just succeed in your career, but to thrive in your health and your relationships. Your journey to greatness, it starts here. So join the movement and you can apply for the Strong Men of Value Academy. You can head to the manthatcanproject.com to find out more. You're listening to The Man That Can Project with Lockie Stewart, a global movement created to empower men and open up what's really going through their minds by having real and raw conversations about life's unique challenges and our individual ways of processing it all. Welcome to The Man That Can Project. Boom, it is about to piss down here. Guys, I really appreciate every single one of you who listen to the show, whether you're a bloke or whether you're a Sheila, I love you all and I do truly appreciate uh, you giving me your time and I am really focused on providing value for you guys and I'm constantly uh, on the lookout for feedback from you guys. So if you do have feedback on the show or things that you think may make it a little bit better, even if I take it on board or don't, I, I still appreciate it because I'd love to hear what works uh, what you guys enjoy, right? Rather than me just chewing chewing the fat here in the office. And it is Thursday here and it's day two of the Ashes test. And I'm spewing I'm not there, but I'm also watching a big storm roll in uh, and the same thing happened yesterday and day one got cut short with rain. So I feel like day two is about to be cut short as well. And uh, it's a shame. It's a real, real shame, but I'm not there. So it's also... Uh, Great thing, right? It makes me feel a little bit better. But gentlemen, today I want to talk about why the secret to success is setting the right goals. For those of you who are going to be tuning into the Set Your Year Up for Success webinar, details to come soon if you're in the Facebook group. It's such a crucial thing and it is one of the main reasons why I believe I have a created a life that I am so proud of and so grateful for and am so inspired by daily because I believe I've set the right goals that are aligned to my values and because when times get tough, which happens, when life loves to throw curveballs, which also happens, I continue moving forward because you know, the goals are so fucking important for me to achieve and I want to share with you the process that I've gone through really quickly. I don't want to take too much of your time because I know you're probably driving to work or um, you know, like I've always said, sipping on that coffee, looking at an incredible view or listening to me uh, in your ears. But I'm going to give you, uh, I guess, some tips on how to understand what those right goals are and how to keep that process at bay. And I guess I'll go more into detail into this with this, sorry, when we do that set you year up for success webinar. And for those who don't want to wait till then, jump on my YouTube or actually if you want to scroll back to not even sure what episode, but about 12 months ago from today, uh, podcast episode, there is a podcast where I, I did a live webinar and I just ripped off the audio and put it in in the podcast there for you all. But remember, I will be doing that webinar, which will be free. And within that webinar, if you get value from it, you're probably going to want to jump into the Strong Men of Value Academy. There is now an application process. So when you do jump over to the website, themanthatcanproject.com, and you click on that Strong Men of Value tab, when you read and you get all excited about um, the possibility of your life changing and becoming a member of our academy, getting to network with incredible, like-minded, high-performing men, right? you will still have to click Submit Application and it will be reviewed. I will review it uh, to make sure that I feel you will get value from it and also you're a good fit for the community because the community is what really drives our academy and uh, obviously, you know, I, I want blokes who I feel would enhance the community and, and provide value. And I don't want anyone to sit there and go, f- not take that risk or not click that application because you're worried about not being good enough. It's not about that. It's you're either a good fit or 
I'll direct you to somewhere that, where that I feel would add more value to you because it's about getting value for you guys. But anyway, that's enough about the strong men of value. Tangent done. We are back. We are live. And I'm going to tell you my process about why or and talk to you about why the secret to success is setting the right goals. Let's break it right down, guys. For me, the goal is the end result, and I, I think you can all relate. You've probably all, probably all set a goal at some point in your life. I would imagine some of you have maybe achieved goals in the past, and some of you have also fallen short on goals in the past, and hopefully you've at least achieved something. I would imagine that a goal was to listen to this podcast episode today. So if you listen right through, you can tick that off, and there you go. You've proven to yourself that you can achieve a goal. But when we set goals, guys, a lot of us are setting goals based off what we think we like. So many of us lack self-awareness and knowing of thyself that when we're setting goals, they aren't really aligned with what we value or even what we want from our life. So when we look at these goals, and you know, I'll give you an example, something that I'm working towards at the moment is turning 75% of my annual income and making it come from online online sources, okay? Because for those who've listened to many episodes in the past, you'll know that flexibility is a really important value of mine. And by having 75% income, it allows me to have more flexibility within my day, uh, which really excites me, right? And because I've taken time to get to know myself better, I've been able to maintain, I guess, that that focus since 2014 when I first decided that that was something that I really wanted to prioritize and I really wanted to set as a, a goal or even just a way of life. So gentlemen, no matter where you're at, right, and it's not about f- getting caught up in this timeline of life that by you know, by 30, you have to have the house or you have to be married. By 35, you have to have kids and, you know, have that fancy car and all that sort of bullshit. Drop that. We're all on our own timeline. We all have had different experiences, um, challenges, setbacks and ways of or priorities up until this point. So you can just breathe. Just breathe. Just It's all good. Wherever you're at is where you're at. But let's be honest with where you're at because that is going to be how you move forward at the quickest pace because you're going to build this solid foundation. So if you really lack an understanding around who you are, if you really lack an understanding around what excites you about life or where you want to see yourself or what you want to experience, then that would be where I would start. I would start with some goals based around, you know, how about I start improving my self-awareness, okay? So how can I improve my understanding of myself? Go have more experiences. Go have conversations, listen to podcasts, read books about random topics that maybe you haven't had interest in before because we only know what we know. And if what you currently know isn't exciting you or isn't giving you that burning desire to get more out of life, then do that. I know for myself, right, when I, uh, when I finished sport, but back in 2014, okay, when I first picked up the Four Agreements, the book, that lit a fire inside me to just learn more about what I didn't know, right? All that taught me was four agreements and the fact that, hey, I can change my way of thinking and I can set boundaries for myself and create new standards for how I show up in daily life. I didn't know anything else, but I was like, cool, if I learned that from that book, I'm going to get my next book and my next book and my next book and my next book. And within each book, it got me curious about something else. So I went and looked into that. I read about that. I invested in coaches and courses and all that sort of stuff. But over the years, and this is why I say year after year, I feel like I have a greater understanding of who I am. It's because I'm trying different things. I'm not just doing the same thing, having the same conversation, rinse and repeat. Do differently to think differently and you'll find, you'll, you know, you'll really gain a greater understanding there, gentlemen. So that is why I think it is important to start with that self-awareness and even a you know, sprinkle a little bit of emotional intelligence in there. If you aren't familiar with that, um, there's a great book by Daniel Goldman called uh, Emotional Intelligence. So read that book. It's also an incredible place to start uh, with with that process or jump into our Strongman Value Academy. We, we discuss this sort of stuff and we can challenge you on that. 
The next thing I would look at, once you have an idea and an understanding about who you are as an individual, I would start thinking about, you know, what would I like my life to look like in, you know, one, three, five, ten years, if you can if you can dream that far ahead. What do I want that to look like? And I've spoke about this recently in a podcast. I don't mean just focus on materialistic things like I want this house here, I want 10 children, I want a Lamborghini. I want you to focus on your way of being and what comes with that. So for me, for example, is I want freedom and freedom to me comes through flexibility and finances, right? The finances to afford the kind of lifestyle experiences and opportunities that I would like. I also want the flexibility so that I can do that, right? I want to have a have a business that allows me to take off when I want to take off that I can do online, I can do in person. It just gives me the flexibility to do what I want when I want with who I want, right? That is very important to me. So at any stage of my life, you know, goals that I set, decisions that I make, I'm going to have that in the back of my mind. But as long as that is being fulfilled, I know I'm going to be happy. Second one is is great people. It may not be the same people from now, even in 10 years time. It may not be people from five years ago. It's not about them being bad or better or worse. It's more so at any point in my life based around what's going on. I just want to have people there that support me, empower me, challenge me to be better and really get the most out of my life. But also there's a great reciprocal energy exchange in the relationship. That is extremely important to me. And so I know that you know I, I'm okay with that. It might not be the people that are in my life right now. Obviously, I want to, want to hold on to relationships. It's not about churn and burn. But I'm okay with that. But that is very important to me in the future. Okay, happiness. Things that, so I think about, okay, happiness. Well, what makes me happy now may not be what makes me happy in the future because priorities change. My life and responsibilities are going to change. So all I know is that I'm going to do whatever I need to do in the future that makes me happy. Right? How will I know what that is? Well, if things are making me unhappy, I'm going to try new things. Okay, so that's a really important thing to keep in mind when um, thinking about, okay, what are these goals that I'm going to set in order to achieve that? And I will break this down. We're talking macro here, you know, for those who really don't like to think far ahead. But if you don't think far ahead, guys, you're not going to really understand the skills, the, the people and what you need to say yes or no to in the future to sort of direct you down that route, all right, direct you closer to that because you know, think about a university degree. Let's say you're studying law. It takes four years. You do so many different modules. You have so many different tests and assignments and pracs along the way that then when you finish uh, your degree, you're now a, a lawyer, but you're starting at the bottom again to gain the real experience. So when you're setting all these micro goals, they should be moving you towards what you think you're, you're wanting to create from your life, okay? So, uh, you know, the goals that I've set, this year are building off the ones that I went through last year. Some of the goals that I achieved this year, I don't want to continue on. I've got my fix from that. It's not serving a purpose anymore. So I'm going to replace that with something else that I'm working towards. But there are also goals that I have achieved or I've been continuing to work towards that I'm going to build on for this year. They're going to get bigger. They're going to get better. They're going to get more challenging, but they're going to be more fulfilling within that process. Okay. So that's very important to sort of think think ahead so you can prioritize what's important for me right now that is going to help me move forward. And gents, I am actually really proud of myself. I am speaking off the cuff here. I have zero notes. Uh, so if I circle back around, that is exactly why. But we're at 12 minutes 48 into this podcast. I want to get it done by 20 minutes. So we've got eight minutes or just under eight minutes uh, to get cranking. But once you've thought about that, gentlemen, You then think about, okay, what are the goals to achieve that? So for yourself, and let's talk 2022. What do you want to achieve in 2022? You'll have some professional goals. I get that. And many of us are very good at doing that. Even myself, I've done my professional and my business goals. They're done. But what about other areas of your life? What else do you want to achieve? Me, I've uh, written down a list. Actually, let me get my list up here now so I can... You know, some things that I want to experience and achieve in 2022, I want to race the 400 meter race, which I've already got booked in. I want to go on a holiday with my mum and dad individually. I want to buy a new car, the 300 series Land Cruiser. Yes, I do. I want to buy a Spartan, uh, buy, I want to compete in a Spartan race. I want to uh, do a long, we, uh, long 
trip away at a uh, coastal place with Amy. I want to do the treetop challenge on the Sunshine Coast. I want to do a 24-hour challenge. I want to go on a weekend surf trip with the boys. So there's some other things that I'm setting goals and putting plans in place to achieve that now. But let's break down the other goals. You know, you can use the smart, um, smart formula, right, which is a brilliant formula. And for those who have their 12-week game plans, um, which you get as a part of being an academy member, you know, you can go through that and set that up there. I've got mine printed out next to me. But when you go through that, you're setting timelines. You're asking yourself whether you feel it's actually attainable or achievable. And you're going to be realistic for where you're at. But going through that process, if it doesn't excite you, or even if it does, ask why you want to achieve this. And, you know, is it intrinsically motivated? Meaning that is, it's coming for something that's going to fulfill you on an internal level, like even if no one found out, you would just feel satisfied. And I, I guess one example would that be would be my mate Gardy this morning. I just randomly did a 21k row, and he's like, "That was the most satisfying thing ever because it was just him and the rower." And he didn't tell anyone about it until after, but it was the fact that he just completed something that was extremely challenging for him. Um, I would I imagine extremely challenging for bloody anyone, to be honest. But there's that intrinsic motivator. But then we also have some goals that can be extrinsically motivated. We might be doing it for recognition, um, for income and various things like that, which once again is completely okay. But if you you need to get really clear on why this goal is important to you and once you're you're clear about why, if it really excites you, you then need to create the plan to achieve that. But also understand how much time it may take, what you may need to learn, the obstacles, challenges that are going to pop up in your way and ask yourself, if shit hits the fan, am I still going to be excited and motivated to do this? One thing I know for certain, this podcast, for example, or the Man That Can Project in general, there are days where I don't feel like doing it, but I get up and do it anyway because I'm committed and I'm, there's this burning flame inside me that I'm so passionate about what I do. I'm so excited about what I do and I'm so grateful that this is my job and I'm so grateful that I get to have incredible conversations and I'm so grateful that you guys, wherever you are right now doing whatever you're doing, are listening to me share experiences or have conversations with people. That's what helps get me up every single day and days when I feel like doing it, it just makes it even better. And the tough days, which we all experience, the days where we would rather just stay in bed or, you know, we might go, oh, I'd much rather do that. It keeps me focused. But I wouldn't remain focused, gentlemen. This is probably the key thing, right, based around having the right goals. I keep my goals somewhere where I can see them daily because our attention, where our attention goes, our energy flows. And if your energy is focused on things that, aren't moving you towards your goals, you're going to move away from your goals, which means you're never going to get that sense of achievement. You're going to keep looking at yourself going, I've failed again. That's another thing that I haven't achieved. That's another commitment or a bond to myself that I've broken. So understand your flaws, right? For me, sorry, and when I say that, I know a weakness of mine is if I'm not focused on my goals, I will forget about them. I'll be thinking about the next thing. And that's one thing I've learned over years of once again, self-awareness and checking in with myself that I need to put it where I'll remember. So like I said, kitchen bench, um, bedside table, uh, in your, on your work desk, whatever that is, keep it there and check in with it daily because the secret to success, guys, is having the right goals and the right goals are the ones that you want to track the progress. The right goals is the one that you want to read about and think about every single day. If that's not working for what you're currently working towards, I would start questioning why the fuck are you putting energy and time into that? Because it's not worth it for you. I can tell you that right now. 2022 is going to be the year that you take your life to that next level. And I can guarantee you, I can promise you that if you set the right goals for yourself, you're going to do that. And if you need a hand with that, join the academy, right? Or just reach out to me even. Take some time to think about what you want, why you really want it, what value it's going to add to you as an individual first and foremost, but then what value, sorry, you are going to be able to add to your life. That is what is going to get you up every single day. 
So gentlemen, the secret to success is setting the right goals. And I trust that you know how to do that. I trust that you're going to be able to get that done. And I trust that 2022 is going to be the biggest year that you have. Thank you so much for listening to this. And I hope it's got you fired up to set some goals or at least begin that process, gentlemen. Remember, get in the free Facebook group if you got value from this. Please share it on social media. Tag me. Tag the man that can project. Share it as many places with mates that you can. And I look forward to uh, having you listen in to another episode soon. Cheers, gentlemen. Thank you for listening to the Man That Can Project podcast. My name is Lockie Stewart, and I hope you enjoyed this episode and found it helpful. If you did, please take a moment to rate and review the Man That Can Project on your favorite podcast platform. And don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with our newest episodes. We'll see you again next time.